Hello welcome back guys. Welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. So guys this video will be the continuation of the previous video. Which I uploaded. You can check out I will paste it link in the description. So we are in the second part of Angular application improvement. So, in this video, we will see. How you can manage the console log which is a printing statement used for debugging is a void in production in a very professional way. So first let me show you the running project on the browser. Now let me open the console dialog box. Now let me show it's consume some time for printing statement on browser profiler. So let me start the profiler recording and check the single function time. Now stop and check the function which takes 6.2 milliseconds to complete the exec. Now if we did not place any statement then obviously it will take less time but not too much. So the actual point is the developer put the log statement in every file for debugging. So when we have to build for a live project then it will become a problem to remove it. So here I will show the two different methods to avoid such a scenario. So first let me introduce the npm package which will help us. So here package name is ngx logger you can check out this page. And read more about it. Let me directly move into its installation part. So simply copy and paste it into the project terminal. Once it is done, we have to import it into the app module file. So follow the same procedure which I am doing. In the level section, we will use a ternary operator to enable and disable the section. For that, we will use the environment file production variable. Because it will help us to know the current build is production or not. So first import it under the app module file. And simply remove the server log URL. Because we are not going to send any data into the server for now. And keep the server log level off which means it's disabled. We also need to add an enabled source map option. Because we require this to know the path we log is printing. There is more option available you can check out from its official page. So far we are done with this file. Now let's jump into its actual use. First, we have to import it as usual. So we will use this instance object to call the debug function. Let me paste here and copy the below statement. Now check on the browser console tab.
Looks like it giving some error let me open the console tab and see. So it is looking for the HTTP module. But it's didn't available so for that let me just import it. Now check. So here on the console tab text is printed along with its time. And location of file also. Now we are in development mode. So here production status is false so we can see the console statement. Let build this project and check its log is printed or not. Once it is done, let run the build over HTTP server. Now you can see no console log available on the browser. So this is just one method to avoid console logs on production. Now let me show you another simplest way to remove the log from the existing project for the production case. First, run the project again. Now replace it into a normal console log statement. So here we will use the second technique. No, any other node package requires. So for that go to the main TypeScript file. And once you move here you will find a simple production. If the condition. Simply inside of it type the statement which I going to enter. So this single statement well enough to clear the log. Let check out for that let me change the environment production value into true. So the written statement will execute. So it's executing successfully and there is no log also available. Which is also correctly working. Let's try this on the building project. Now let me run first. So no log available. That's it. This is just another way to improve the application performance. So this is it for this video hope you enjoy it. And like, comment, and share it with your friends. Till then bye.